All right, so today we're going to be replacing the water pump assembly on this 1995 Mercury 115 two-stroke outboard. From what I've gathered, it's just taking these four bolts out. At least I think it's just four. Uh, we'll see. And for list of supplies, we've got the, of course, the replacement kit. So this is the whole assembly. You got the housing. You got the impeller itself. This little metal plate. The gaskets. I've got the uh, 24C that the manual called out, and then some videos have showed people replacing this uh, like RTV gasket um, that, that may already be on there. So I'm not sure. I couldn't find it in the manual. So I guess we'll see if it's already on there. If it is, I guess I'll replace it. If it's not, maybe I won't worry about it. But uh, see, the wind might assist me in turning the page here. But yeah, I couldn't find it in the manual. So if anybody knows anything about that, maybe you can drop a comment in the section below. But uh, Let's get into it. I take this off and the whole thing just slides out. There it is. I mean, yeah, it's pretty heavy, but it's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. Looks pretty, uh, pretty rigged, so, but it works. This thing's, uh, pretty solid as I shake the whole box. But yeah, no, it seems to hold up and it'll be enough for me to just replace this and then uh, slap her back in, bud. Looks like just four bolts right there. So this key just fell right down. Okay. So there's the old water pump in its case. So here's the little key that fell down. So it would go in just like that when you're reinstalling it. Looking at this older water pump, uh, it still looks like it's pretty rubbery after five years. Pretty good quality and you can see it was installed counterclockwise so where the fins would point in the clockwise direction. Be a shame if we installed it backwards. Tee hee. Uh, but now that would just increase cooling by 100%. We wouldn't want to defeat physics like that. So we'll install it the correct way. Take the rest of this apart. You know, it looks like the metal plate, so you got the gasket and the metal plate, we'll just lift it off as one, and it looks like the lower gasket, what? oh okay it's on here, I was like I guess it just doesn't exist, yeah the gasket actually came off so I don't have to do that much cleaning. I guess my next steps are to clean this off and redo the gasket maker on the back. I might do that last, but I'm going to have to get it off first. Reinstall the new water pump, and then we should be good to go. Alright, now that we got everything cleaned up, it's time for some reassembly. Got the little gasket kit. So I'll use this. I'll get my 2-4-C lube, and we will get the new housing and water pump. This one with the red will be the one that goes on top, like the one that we took off. I think that one was blue, but we're changing teams, so we're going red this time. Okay. So this gasket goes on first. So, I'm not sure that lined up. Perhaps it's this way. Ah, yes. Okay, so it only lines up that way. Sick. Now we've got our metal plate. We've got our sharp side. We've got our smooth side. So smooth side is going to go facing up towards the color. Probably should have cleaned this shaft. Maybe I could. Maybe I should do that. It looks pretty, pretty nasty. It's not even blue. It's yellow. What a ripoff. It sticks. Oh, look at that. There we 
go. Well, that's what's up. Put this thing in. We want to put it in counterclockwise so the fins face clockwise. So. You know, this might not be very easy. Just kidding, it was pretty easy. So now we would just have to line this up to where the Woodruff key is in line with this this guy. So if we're like that, we need it to be like, see it? Am I close? Ish. You see, it's got like a little cutout right here for the key. So we just gotta line that up. Can I do it? This boot uh, was actually stuck up inside the the motor so all I had to do was reach in that midsection grab it out it's pretty easy and this section is uh, it's got like a section it looks like it's threaded I'm not sure how well that'll come up on camera but that was the side that was facing out so that would be where the water pump goes into look at that action shifter spline while we have it out. So next thing we have to install is this little seal that keeps the water from coming up uh, the spline I guess. The old one didn't have one so either they chose not to use it or it didn't come with one in their kit. Uh, I'm gonna use it and I guess you could use this little tool to push it down so we'll do that. We'll lube it up a little bit. Help it slide down the so there we go. Now it's installed. Grease up the uh, upper part of the spline. Pretty sure that won't come out very well on camera, but we'll try it anyways. So I went ahead and cleaned up back here and laid down a bead of that RTB. May or may not have had it blow up through the back, <laughs> but gotta keep it entertaining somehow. So I guess the next step is gonna be reattaching this to the engine. There it is. So one thing I noticed when I first started the engine a little bit earlier is that it didn't pee out of the telltale. I undid this little hose here, and this is what goes and connects to the, the telltale right there. So that tube, you follow it back and it goes up to here. So I undid that, blew on it, nothing. Sucked, sand came out of it, into my mouth, spit it out. And then after that, I fired it back up and, and started peeing. So it may not have been the water pump after all, but it did need to be replaced, so glad to get that done.